was the scene of the last great battle of the Second World War. In April 1945, the US invaded the strategic Japanese island of Okinawa, ahead of the final invasion of the rest of the country. It was a battle that lasted 82 days, with Japan losing nearly 80,000 soldiers, the Allies 14,000 and up to 150,000 civilians killed. Ever since, Akinawa has remained a real sign of US power, an island still now dominated by the American military, with 26,000 troops spread over 32 bases. Okinawa has been key in US military operations in the region for years. The people of Okinawa, though, are not happy. The objections to the locally known as Yankees growing and growing, spurred on by cases of rape and murder. The government in Tokyo says it has a plan and construction is already underway on a new mega base, in theory centralising US forces in a more unpopulated region. The locals, though, they smell a rat, fearing a diversion, simply leading to an even bigger US presence and anger over the damage to the environment. Every day, red sand is used to destroy the many treasures of our sea here in Okinawa. They're destroying coral reefs. They're killing sea animals like the dugongs. But we're fighting back, and we won't let that happen. So please, everyone, support us and our cause. So this year then, in February, Okinawa's inhabitants voted in a non-binding referendum. The result that 72% of the more than half who voted said no to the new base. Despite that, though, well, Japan's Prime Minister Shinzo Abe says the relocation plans will continue. So where next, then, for the anti-GI protests? And will the fight for the soul of Okinawa go on? Well, Konstantin Simon, Aruna Papuri, and Tommy Jean Kitade revisit Okinawa for France 24. Located 1,500 kilometres south of Tokyo, Okinawa is a popular tourist destination attracting huge numbers of visitors with its pristine beaches and subtropical climate. Since 2017, the main island of Okinawa and the dozens of tiny islands nearby have attracted more tourists than Hawaii. But the main island is also associated with a strong US military presence. The most controversial is Futenma, a US Marine Corps air station located in the middle of the city of Ginawan and its 90,000 residents. Local people face the daily threat of accidents involving low-flying aircraft. It's a risk that staff at this nursery, Bye -bye. located 300 meters from Futenma, know only too well. Look over there. That's where it fell. On the 7th of December 2017, part of a helicopter's rotor fell from the sky and landed on the roof. When it fell, there were about 20 children and a few teachers in the playground. Since then, we've had these nets. I don't think they can completely protect us from falling objects, but we find them reassuring. Hello. Kamiya is a pastor and director of the nursery with 64 children in his care. After the accident, he tried to reassure parents and teachers. I was very scared. It could have hit one of the children on the head. Now, when some children hear the sound of helicopters, they say, they're back, they're back. We don't want them here. The American bases have always existed in Okinawa. My father used to work at one of them. It was a part of our lives. But after the accident, I don't see things in the same way. It's as though the magic disappeared, and I realized we were living in a very dangerous place. Officially, the U.S. military didn't admit responsibility for the accident. Kamiya has accused the Japanese government of covering up the case to protect its security alliance with the United States. He takes us to the site of another accident in 2004, when a helicopter crashed in the grounds of a university near Futenma. 
Look at these residential buildings. At the time of the accident, there were cars on the road like today. It happened in this crowded area. A year before that accident, the then US Secretary of Defense, Donald Rumsfeld, described Futema as the most dangerous military base in the world. The US governed Okinawa from the end of the war until 1972, when the island reverted to Japanese control. Located in the East China Sea, it's regarded as strategically important by the US military. Today, Okinawa is home to 26,000 US military personnel, more than half the entire military contingent in Japan. Friction with local people rises whenever US military personnel are implicated in serious crimes. Every week, Kamiya and his congregation come here to voice their anger at the US military presence. They want to scare us with this sign and these barricades. All this used to be on the inside of the base, not outside. It's clear they want to intimidate us so that we stop protesting. It makes me furious. I have four children and seven grandchildren, so I come here for them. I won't live that long, but I don't want my children to experience war like I did. For older generations of Okinawans, the presence of US bases brings back traumatic memories of the Battle of Okinawa, one of the bloodiest battles of the Second World War. Every year on the anniversary of the battle, Toyo Tamaki's children get together to listen to her recollections of the US invasion of Okinawa. The bullet penetrated here and came out here. In 1943, Tamaki was forced to work as a cook for the Japanese Imperial Army, making meals for workers who were building an airfield. Faced with the threat of a US invasion, Japan's militarist leaders forced civilians to join the war effort. Look, it's your great-grandmother. <laughs> when I was 16, I was forced to work in a military kitchen. We didn't even have clean water. We had to use dirty water to cook the rice. The water was black. The workers became sick when they ate the rice. The people of Okinawa had a difficult time. Soldiers and civilians did not get the same food. We were treated like animals. Under siege from relentless US bombs, people hid in caves and inside tombs. We had to hide in the tombs. The dead people's bones didn't scare us. I'll never forget the anguish we felt. And at the same time, we didn't really have the time to think about death. We were so busy trying to survive. Here, there were very violent battles. There was nothing left not even a single building. Today, when I meet people my age, we ask ourselves, why our small country had to get into a war against such a powerful country? Tamaki, though, was spared the fate of many of her fellow Okinawans. Mass suicide. With defeat imminent, Japanese soldiers forced people to jump from cliffs to kill themselves rather than surrender. They were among more than 200,000 people, including civilians and soldiers, who died during the battle. More than seven decades on, Japan and the US have built a strong alliance, symbolized by Okinawa. The island has undergone profound changes since US soldiers arrived here 74 years ago. The bars of Naha, Okinawa's capital, are packed with US soldiers. 
All of them say they enjoy life in Okinawa. Mainly, I think the older generation still has kind of harsh feelings towards Americans. But uh, other than that, everybody else is really friendly. So. We don't feel like America has any say in Okinawa business, um, but they're just that kind of an agreement. That's just kind of what we feel from being here and seeing, you know, it's a very healthy relationship, I feel like. I don't see the U.S. leaving Okinawa unless they really have to, but, um, but I don't think America would, would want to lose this relationship with Japan. In the face of anti-Bay sentiment, the Japanese government decided to close Futenma and move its personnel and functions to Henoko, a village in a less populated part of the island. The new base will comprise two offshore runways costing an estimated 2 billion euros. But critics say construction work will unleash an environmental disaster. Shall I take you to the Henoko base? Okay. Hiroshi Ashitomi, a leading figure in the anti-base movement, is a regular visitor to Henoko. He's worried about the destruction of lagoons in the bay, whose turquoise waters are home to one of the world's most beautiful coral reefs. Is it the Coast Guard? No, it's a private security boat. They filled the sea with cement and sand. This area was very rich in marine plants. And dugongs used to feed here, but now they don't come here anymore. They've also constructed sea walls that prevent turtles from laying eggs on the shore. We want to get our ocean back. There have been protests against the Henoko base almost every day since the end of last year. Some protesters form human blockades to prevent trucks from bringing in sand for land reclamation. Police officers prevent the protesters, many of whom are older people, from interfering with construction work. I feel such a rage in me, and it will not go away. As long as the construction continues, I'll fight it for as long as I live. Today, there's a worldwide movement defending the environment, but this construction is destroying nature and the ocean. Building a military base, a place that's associated with killing people, is truly stupid. That's what we want to say to the international community. The critics have the support of Okinawa's governor. They want the Henoko base to be built elsewhere in Japan. On the 24th of February, 72% of voters in Okinawa Prefecture rejected the Henoko base in a referendum. For Ashitomi, the vote was an important moment in the struggle against US bases. It's an important result. Let's hope it will now allow us to negotiate with Trump and Abe. But the referendum result was not legally binding. So the Japanese government isn't obliged to abide by the result. Prime Minister Shinzo Abe has said that, despite the result, construction will continue. Here you go. On the 16th of March, Ashitomi and thousands of other activists gathered in Naha. The referendum was a success in that it showed how people feel. 
The Japanese government can't ignore their voices. It must halt construction work. Okinawa has always been treated unfairly by Japan, especially on the issue of American bases. Even though the people of Okinawa oppose the bases, and even though other regions are ready to host bases, the government insists that they remain here. Japanese nationalists try to disrupt the meeting, and tempers flare. Right-wingers believe getting rid of US bases would risk Japan's national security. They say Japan's officially a pacifist nation under its post-war constitution. But its neighbors include an assertive China and nuclear-armed North Korea. If the Americans leave, there won't be anyone left to protect us. It's frustrating to be forced to accept their military presence. But we don't have a choice, as Japan cannot defend itself. The second Battle of Okinawa is, thankfully, peaceful. While base opponents say their democratic voice has been ignored, others point to the important security role Okinawa has played since the end of the war. And while construction work at Henoko continues, neither side shows any sign of backing down. Constantin Simon Aruna Papuri et Tommy Jean Kitade revisiting Okinawa for France 24. Well, that's all from this week's edition. Don't forget, of course, you can catch it and the previous editions as well on our website at france24.com. More news coming up in just a moment. Thanks for watching. <laughs>